Okay, so in the previous series for GCP load balancers, the backend service that we had used was always a auto scaling instance group. Now for this particular chapter, we'll talk about using the network endpoint group. So a network endpoint group is basically a configuration object that specifies a group of backend endpoints or services. So you can have these many types of network endpoint groups. It can be a zonal, an internet, a serverless, a hybrid, or a private service connect. So in this particular chapter, we'll specifically talk about zonal network end, endpoint groups. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a network endpoint group. And this particular NEG has to be assigned to a particular zone in a region. And that's precisely what we'll do. We'll create it for US Central 1 and we'll assign it to a particular zone in US Central 1. And after we've done that, the next thing that we'll do is we will create a virtual machine in that particular zone and we'll assign it to the NEG. And once we've created our zonal NEG, the next thing that we'll do is we will associate it with a particular backend service of a load balancer. And again, everything else remains the same. We'll create a frontend service that will have an IP address and we will use this particular IP address to talk to this particular virtual machine. So let's do this. Let's go back to a console. Now, before going to the example, now one thing to note is that there is no concept of auto scaling here. So if you want to do auto scaling, you have to go with instance groups. So this is just assigning a particular backend service to a particular virtual machine within an NEG. So let's go ahead and let's create a particular NEG and associate it with a particular backend service. So I'll see you in the console. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a network endpoint group. So to do that, you can go to your compute and within that, you'll find your NEG under the settings. So let's click on create network endpoint group. And here what we'll do is we'll create a zonal network endpoint group. Let's just call this as my NEG. And we will create it in US Central 1. And you also need to mention the zone as well. So let's click on the default network that we have. And we need to choose the US Central 1 zone. Let's choose the US Central one. And here you need to also mention the zone. So the zone is basically very important. So whatever you create, whatever instances, whatever virtual machines you create has to be within this particular zone. Let's choose US Central one E. And you can also choose a default port. So let's just choose this as port 80. So let's click on create. So once we've created this NEG, the next thing that we'll do is we'll create a virtual machine and we will associate that particular virtual machine to this NEG and we need to make sure that that particular virtual machine is in US Central 1A. So let's go ahead and let's create a virtual machine. So here I have created a virtual machine already. So let's and all that it does is that it just displays the particular virtual machine name. Now how I did this to get more information you can just check out this particular link over here. So once you've created this particular virtual machine with this particular page the next thing that we need to do is we need to go back to our virtual machine and we need to go back to our NEG and we need to associate that virtual machine to this NEG. Let's open our NEG again. And here what you need to do is you need to add the network endpoint. Let's click on this. And here automatically you'll see that there is a virtual machine instance that's populated on the drop down. So here let's click on this particular and all that you need to give is basically the IP address of that particular virtual machine. So it comes over here so you can just paste it and let's associate it with port 80 and let's click on create. So now what we've done is we've associated that particular instance to this particular NEG. So we've done with this part. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a load balancer. So let's click on create load balancer and we need to create an HTTP load balancer for this. And from the net, let's choose the classic HTTP. And here what we need to do is you need to create a backend service. So now the only difference is that this particular backend service will not be an instance group it'll be a zonal endpoint group. So let's choose this. Let's give a name for our backend service. Let's just call this as zonal backend service. And let's choose the NEG. You can see that there is an NEG over here that comes and all that you need to give is just the drop down will give you that NEG that you've created. And here the balancing mode just gives you the request per second. So here you can just populate this as 100. So it can basically take up to 100 requests per second per endpoint. And the last thing that we'll do is we'll also create a health check. Let's click on save. And let's create our particular backend service. Let's click on OK. And that's the only thing that you need to give. So let's just leave it at one particular path. And let's click on create. And let's give a name for our load balancer. Let's just call this as LB. Click, let's click on create. And let's wait for this load balancer to get created. 
So once your load balancer is created, let's open this load balancer and you get this IP address. So once you've opened this IP address, you can see that you get the same response that you got for that virtual machine. Now, of course, you can keep adding more and more virtual machines to your NEG. So you can go back to your network endpoint group. So what you can do is you can open your network endpoint group and you can keep adding newer instances over here. So you can not only add newer instances, you can also assign it to other ports as well. So that's something that you can try out. So you can have, have multiple virtual machines pointing to different ports and they can all be assigned to the same NEG. So that's something you can try out at your end. So if you have any doubts about this, please get in touch with me. So, so before we conclude, let's look at what we did. We created an NEG for a particular US central one and for zone A, and then we created a virtual machine within the same zone. And then we associated that particular virtual machine to the NEG. And later after we did that, we created a backend service and that backend service was pointing to the same NEG that we created. And then again, we created a front end service, which gave us the IP address. And we used this particular IP address to communicate with this particular NEG. So that's it for this one. I hope this was useful for you. I will see you in the next.